Have you ever asked the question, what the fuck? is GDPR or you're in luck. This video is going to run you through all the most important, most critical parts of GDPR compliance. We even included a free downloadable cheat sheet that will give you everything that you need in order to be GDPR compliant. In fact, it's even put together by GDPR experts and Cyber Essentials accreditors. you're probably wondering, why do I need GDPR compliance? Why do I even need a checklist? Or you may have questioned if there's any justification for the hype surrounding the General Data Protection Regulation. Look, I get it. You already have a to-do list, and even when you finish everything on it, you still feel like you haven't accomplished anything meaningful. So the idea of wasting your time on yet another useful, profound, or GDPR-made-easy checklist will probably give you the willies. In business, time is a commodity and a valuable one at that. Everyone wants more of it, and sometimes managing the time you do have is overwhelming. Between the responsibilities of running a business, managing relationships with clients, and personal well-being, there seems to be very little time to do anything else. So when you first heard about GDPR compliance, you can be forgiven for having the initial reaction of, well, it sounds too technical for me. I don't have time for it. Or maybe I'll get round to GDPR someday. You might be delighted to learn that you're not alone. It's expected that more than 81% of all businesses in the UK will not be GDPR compliant in time for the legislation being enforced in May 2018. Stats like this that may appear to be justification for delaying GDPR compliance. One of the hottest topics circling GDPR is that if EU citizen data is breached online, then your business may be fined 20 million euros or 4% of your global turnover, whichever happens to be more. Therefore, it's easy for you to surmise that GDPR equals the death of your business. Nobody has time for that. But if GDPR exists to protect EU citizens from cyber criminals or businesses mistreating their personal, identifiable information, then is GDPR really a bad thing? Imagine for a moment that your personal information was stolen and abused by others. How would you feel? Would you feel angry? Victimised? Perhaps a little scared about what a stranger may or may not be doing with it? Look at what's happening with Facebook. Wave after wave of people are leaving because their personal information was breached by an external company who then used it for marketing purposes. Therefore, if you hold the general opinion that data protection matters, then your customers and clients must also have the same opinions as you do. And when your business is GDPR compliant, customer satisfaction will be at an all-time high. Best of all, 81% of your competitors will not be GDPR compliant by May 2018. This means that GDPR compliance gives you the unique selling point that other companies can't offer their customers. Therefore, if your company is GDPR compliant, then you'll have a penalty-free business that retains customers and attracts new business. So the only question you really need to ask yourself is this, how much is GDPR compliance worth to me? Now we've managed to put together a free GDPR compliance checklist, which includes all the information that you need in order for your business to be GDPR compliant. So what is GDPR compliance? Well, GDPR, General Data Protection Regulation, is new legislation that replaces the Data Protection Directive. It becomes enforceable by May 25th, 2018, and is developed by the Council of the European Union, the European Parliament, and the European Commission, with the aim to strengthen and unify data protection for all EU citizens, give back control over personal data to EU citizens and residents, create new digital rights for EU citizens, simplify and unify regulation within the EU, make it easier for non-EU countries to comply with their regulations. Unlike a directive, GDPR does not require national governments to pass any enabling legislation and thus is directly binding and applicable to any business that stores EU citizen data. Even if the data is not collected or stored on a server located in the EU, a single set of rules will apply to all EU member states. Each member state will establish an independent supervisory authority, which is often known as an SA, to listen to and investigate complaints, sanctions and any admin offences. Should a business have multiple establishments in the EU, it will have a single SA and its lead authority. While GDPR makes it easier for nations out with the European Union to comply with the new legislation, there will be steeper financial consequences if a company's online security is breached and has its data leaked online. 
So what is personal data under GDPR? In accordance with GDPR, personal identifiable information, also referred to as PII, is considered to be any information that can be associated with an individual. This means that PII will apply to any data pertaining to an EU citizen's professional, public and private life. Some of the most obvious types of PII are a computer's IP address, banking information, social media posts, email addresses, home addresses, first and last names, medical information, private photographs. How does GDPR affect marketing and the data you collect? For most small businesses, GDPR will only have a minor effect on the day-to-day -day marketing or on how an individual's private information is used for marketing purposes. The General Data Protection Regulation is predominantly designed to prevent personal information being traded or sold to a third party. Therefore, there's a responsibility to protect and not misuse any data that you collect. Any additional requirement of GDPR and the collection of data is that for most businesses, overly complicated terms and condition pages on the website will have to be replaced with a more straightforward and easier to understand use of terminology and language. Furthermore, it is good practice to clearly state what a person is choosing to opt into and how their personal information will be used. A few examples are perhaps on pop-ups and checkouts or anywhere else that PII is collected. An EU citizen's PII can only be processed by an entity if there's a minimum of one lawful basis to do so. The data subject is given consent, it is necessary for the performance of a contract, a legal obligation to process an EU citizen's PII, official authorities performing tasks in the public's interest. PII is critical for the legitimate interest pursued by the controller or by a third party. What about GDPR in email marketing? Email marketing is a big business because it's easy to retain customers and encourage repeat business. These days, email addresses are like a currency and people don't give away their personal information to just anyone without a very good reason. Yet the cost incurred to get each and every subscriber for a business is money well spent. This is because email marketing has an average 40x ROI. Yes, that means that for every pound you spend acquiring email subscribers, you'll get £40 back. Marketers and conversion rate optimization experts spend their professional working lives in the pursuit of getting the maximum number of email subscribers from as few visitors to a website as they can. You'll have noticed that, in fact, we use pop-ups on our website. This is called conversion rate optimization, and most businesses don't have a problem investing in things like WordPress themes, landing page builders, and newsletter list building plugins to offer the ultimate mouth-watering incentive that not just their ideal subscriber one baby step closer to solving a problem that keeps them awake at night. You may have used something similar and now be questioning if GDPR will mean that you'll have to abandon your super juicy incentive. GDPR will have a minor impact on the way that you use your website to collect contact details. Pop-ups, checkouts or any other ways that you collect PII will have to clearly state what it is that the user is signing up for and how your business intends to use their personal information. Additionally, subscribers and customers must be able to withdraw their consent at any time. They also need to be granted access to any data that you have and be allowed right to be forgotten. An additional requirement is that all EU citizens must be able to unsubscribe from your email list at any time. But most of this is standard. How will GDPR affect schools? When a school, charity or business collects a child's personal data, consent must be given by the child's parent or custodian. This consent must be verifiable and data controllers must be able to prove that explicit consent was given. What is a data breach and what does it mean for GDPR? Data breaches and cybercrime are hot topics right now, but what many people don't understand is what a data breach is and what it means for GDPR. The short answer is that there are few changes to how your business handles data breaches in the future. When the General Data Protection Regulation finally takes full effect, the data controller will be legally obliged to notify the European Supervisory Authority. Reporting a data breach must be done within 72 hours of becoming aware that a data breach has happened. Should there be any adverse impact taking place, those who are affected will need to be notified immediately. On top of that, the data processor will also be responsible for notifying the data controller without any delay. All in all, GDPR will make sure that data controllers and data processors are held responsible for what takes place after a data breach.
One of the many advantages to GDPR is that it will make it easy for your business to be compliant when handling EU citizen data because there is only one set of rules that apply. Each individual member state will create an SA, Supervisory Authority, to handle and investigate any complaints about your business breaking legislation. The Supervision Authority will also deal with sanctions related to administrative wrongdoings. Should your company operate from multiple locations in Europe, it will be assigned a single SA that is geographically situated closest to your main office or place of business. The EDPB, European Data Protection Board, will be responsible for coordinating the Supervision Authority authority and, in some circumstances, different supervision authorities will work together and freely trade information with one another. So where can I get my free GDPR compliance checklist? If you aren't completely prepared for the new era of data protection for European citizens, then you're trailing behind your competition. GDPR is a hot topic, and if you're not compliant by May 2018, then you're missing out on an extremely cost-effective way to grow your business. Our GDPR compliance checklist is focused on time management that will guide you towards achieving absolute data protection and the GDPR compliance. Comes in a portable PDF format that helps you to identify your biggest weaknesses in online security. By the end of the list, you'll learn everything you need to know about GDPR and you'll be in a position to stop focusing on what you have to do and start focusing on what you want to achieve with GDPR. You can't create more time, but with this checklist, the 25 most important things your business needs for GDPR compliance in 2018, you can start making time for what really matters. When the inevitable challenges with GDPR compliance shows up, this checklist gives you the drive to follow through and achieve the actions you want. So here's what you need to do. Download the 25 most important things your business needs for GDPR compliance in 2018. 